Welcome to Grimlight's um, test video. This is just a quick video to show you how you can wirelessly transfer images in real time from a camera over onto an Apple iPad. Um, equipment used for the shoot, this is just purely a demo shoot, it's not a genuine product shot, it's just purely to show you how cool it is that you can preview images and video at the same time over on iPad in real time when doing shoots for clients. Um, I'm using a Canon G10 um, with an iFi 8GB Pro X2 card. Also, David off bottle there, we've got a Nikon SB800 over on the left hand side, which is going to be our main light. We're using an Alinchrom trigger system, and also, as you can see there a moment ago on the iPad screen, you can see preview of the shot. So, I'm just going to take a quick photo with the Canon. As I take the shot, you'll see that it will come up on the iPad screen almost simultaneously in real time. So as you can see we'll just go over to our iPad. So a very simple setup. The software I'm using on the iPad is Shutter Snitch which can be downloaded off the Apple App Store. Um, I think it's about £5 for the software. Um, that allows you to connect online directly with the Wi-Fi card. Um, the i -Fi, the, ca the card itself is by iFi. Um, you can go onto the website and buy the cards. I've got several different cards. I'm actually using the 8GB Pro card, which is the high-end card that they do, which also allows for ad hoc connections to Wi-Fi products as well. So it's a lot more connectivity, a lot easier to use. Uh, and as you can see there, I've just took a couple of shots and they've transferred over onto my iPad in real time. Um, very simple, very quick, very easy to do. It's a fantastic tool when you're doing commercial shots for commercial clients. They can preview the photographs in real time or if it's a portrait shoot um, or anything like that where the client is able to view the images in real time. It's also a lot smaller, a lot more compact than taking a laptop on location with you as well. Um, it's a lot quicker, a lot more modern and very simple to use. So at the end of the, sh the shoot here you'll also see the original shot is shot and I'll just give you a little sneak peek, a little taste um, of some of the production steps. Like I said, this isn't a, a finished image at all or anything like that, it's just purely as an example just to show you how you can tether. Um, there's different shots as you'll see towards the end here as we're fading through the different post-production effects from the original shot to background to lighting being drawn in and then to the final lighting adjustment there on the final shot. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video and there'll be more to come from Grimlight.